One of my followers of TikTok has requested if I can do a bell curve tips and tutorial for performance evaluation purpose. I thought, what a lovely idea. So this is how I do it. The first thing you have to do is to sort your data set here. You're going to put your cursor on your data set. You're going to press Ctrl Shift L to enable filter. Now on the test result, you're going to sort smallest to largest and it will look something like that. After that's done, you can disable the filter by pressing Ctrl Shift L again because you won't be needing the filter anymore. The first calculation we're going to do is the mean. We're going to use the Excel's average function here like this. And the only argument on the average function would be the test results. Close parenthesis and hit enter. You should see something like that. After that, we don't want any decimal place in here. You're going to go home, number, and then you're going to reduce the decimal place to zero. And this is what you should get, a whole number. Next, we're going to do the standard deviation calculation. You're going to say equal STD. And basically, uh, standard deviation dot P is what we're going to use because we got the complete data in here. If you got a sample, you're going to use dot S. I'm going to double click this guy here. In the standard deviation function, the only argument would be the complete test results like that and close parenthesis and hit enter. And this will give you number in decimal place as well. Let's make this into a whole number by doing this. Okay, once that's done, you are ready to calculate the normal distribution here. So you're going to put your cursor down here. You're going to say equal and you're going to say NORM for normal distribution dot dist like this. And then the first argument in here you can see is showing as X, which is your test result here. And then the second argument is a mean, which is which you can't see here. It's actually D2 right below this mean here. You're going to press F4 to make it fixed so that you can apply to the rest of the row later on. Then you go comma and the third argument as you can see is standard deviation. You're going to select this cell and press F4 to make it a fixed column and row reference. And then comma and we're going to say uh, probable mass function which is false like that. And close parenthesis and hit enter. Now you'll see a number something like that. You're going to select that number and apply the same formula to the rest of the row by double clicking this fill handler here. So it should look something like that. Now you're ready to draw the bell curve here. So to draw the bell curve, you're going to select the test result like that without the header all the way down to the very last row of your data set here. Then after that, you're going to go to insert in here on the chart. You're going to do a pull down here and you're going to select this scattered with smooth line. If you click on it, there you go, you got your bell curve and all you have to do is just arrange it nicely and you're done.